hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will be discussing about amazon's payout report which is also called amazon settlement report basically a settlement report provides a detailed breakdown of your merchant account activity for a given settlement period and the funds disbursed to you which includes the orders refunds reimbursements and amazon fees charged by amazon to the merchant a settlement report is provided by Amazon and it generates settlement report based on marketplaces. So if a seller sells on multiple marketplaces, we will receive multiple settlement reports for the given period of time. For example, if you are the seller in the Europe region and selling on all the marketplaces for Europe, you will receive the settlement report for all of your marketplaces such as Amazon France, Amazon Germany, Amazon Spain, etc. In Odoo, there will be the bank journal created for each marketplaces and system will simply generate and reconcile the transactions by creating bank statement. By doing so, it will automatically post all your Amazon fees to the accounting. In addition to that, it will also reconcile the orders and refunds which are settled by Amazon in the settlement report. So by this way, you will be able to track orders which are not yet settled paid by Amazon to you. Before you start processing settlement report, you need to set up the account for the different Amazon fees from your chart of account. Let me show you from where you can set up the account. So here I am on my Odoo Bid database where Amazon application is installed. I'll quickly go to the Amazon application, configuration, settings. I'll select the seller and here I'll see a configuration menu for the settlement report. I'll click on configure Amazon transaction type from where I can configure chart of account for each of my Amazon transaction type. Now let us understand how we can process the settlement report. Now let's see how to process settlement report. In order to process the settlement report, I'll go to the operations, select the seller, Select the operation for FBA and FBM. Operation here I need to select download settlement reports. Here I need to give the start date and end date for which I want to import the settlement report from Amazon. And when I click on this execute button, system will import the settlement report from Amazon for the given date range. Now, when we are not receiving settlement report via connector due to API limitations and user want to import older settlement report, then we have a particular feature to import such missing settlement report via operation manually create settlement report. In order to import such reports in Odoo, you first need to download those reports from Amazon and then you can upload it here. Now this report can be imported as a text and CSV file using the connector and it supports Amazon's flat file v2 version of the settlement report. Now before we process the settlement report that we have imported, there are certain configurations which needs to be ensured before processing the settlement report. Now let us see what all are those configurations. So here if you go to Amazon marketplace level configuration. There is a settlement report journal. By default, system creates bank journal for each of the marketplaces, which users can modify based on their needs. Odoo will use this journal to create a bank statement when we are processing settlement report. The next is ending balance account. The ending balance in the settlement reports bank statement will not be carried over to the next bank statement it will automatically transfer the amount from marketplace journal bank account to the ending balance account and users will be able to reconcile their actual bank statement entries with the ending balance account. Now the next configuration is at the seller level. So here in the seller level, we have the settlement report configuration. The first is reimbursement customer, reimbursement product, 
and reimbursement sales channel. As a default, system creates one customer, one product, and set a default sales channel for reimbursement invoices. Before processing settlement report, user should review this configuration as a particular settlement report might consist reimbursement entries as well. The next is Amazon fees configuration. So let us see all fee configuration in detail. So here when we click on this configuration, it will lend you to this specific page from where you can map a particular chart of account against each of this transaction type. So basically this all transaction type you will find in your settlement report and against each of this transaction type you can define a particular chart of account. System will automatically add all the transaction fees charges types and requires the account and tax configuration to be mapped against it. Based on this configuration, system will reconcile fees and charges. By enabling the analytical account in Odoo, we can select an analytical tag and account and apply those changes in this reconciliation. Now once we are done with all the configuration, we are good to process the settlement report. So whatever settlement report you have imported through the operation, you will find the settlement report under the sales menu. Here you can select a particular report which you want to process and which is in the done stage. So here in this screen, you will find a button to process the settlement report and when you click over there, system will create a bank statement which is visible here. So this is the bank statement and the state of the settlement report will be changed to imported. And when we process the settlement report, system will create invoices if it doesn't exist in Odoo for a specific order. And system will also automatically create credit notes invoices for the orders for which it is applicable. Now once the settlement report bank statement is created, and when the user clicks on the reconcile button from the settlement report screen, system will reconcile all the invoices, credit notes and fees and reimbursement invoices. Statement lines that have not been reconciled fully will be partially processed just like we see in this report and statement lines that have been fully reconciled will be fully processed. The reason for the non-reconciliation can be orders cannot be found in Odoo, configuration of Amazon fees is pending, there is a mismatch in the amount. So this can be several reasons behind non-reconciliation of a state settlement statement lines. From the settlement report, users can see the button configure missing phase. So say for example, there are few Amazon transaction types against which you have not mapped a chart of account. This button will appear. In that case, this button will appear in the screen. User can directly click over here, configure missing fees button, configure the chart of account against this Amazon code. And after that, they can again click on this reconcile button in order to reconcile the remaining lines. So this was all about settlement report. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.